Hello, it's raining today uh, so I'm hiding in the greenhouse and uh, getting on with a few jobs that are long awaited. So what I have here is uh, plenty of compost. Now I have a, I have a recessed area uh, in my workbench uh, with a plastic container in it uh, and in that I put all the compost that I want to work with at the moment. So I can fit about uh, 15 to 20 litres of compost uh, in this container. Um, and I've got everything else I need close to hand. And what I thought I'd do this morning uh, is to pot up those little herbs. So they arrived in, uh, sealed in these black plastic containers, uh, which I'll reuse. Uh, and all the little all the little plug plants were lying sideways and I need to lift them uh, and get each one of these into its own little pot. Yum. I've got some pots now. I don't buy uh, any new plastic pots. In line with many gardeners I'm trying to use less plastic and the best way to do that uh, is to just keep reusing it. So I've got some that are individual little pots uh, and some that are uh, seed trays It's going to smell lovely in here today And there we go, potted up this really shouldn't take very long, uh, especially because I've got uh, the trays filled with compost already. I did wonder if there was any point in doing this, uh, given that the herb bed is very almost ready. But the point is it isn't completely ready. And I do want it to have a few days for that. Uh, all the compost and the wood shavings and the wood chippings that we've put in there to settle right down and to embed down uh, and to also to be able to put uh, some garden soil in it as well and just give it a chance to to uh, find its own level uh, before I start planting in it. So the big temptation is to uh, just stuff it full of plants uh, right now uh, because it looks like it's almost ready um, and that is usually my way. My way is usually to just you know, plough in there and <laughs> get stuff done straight away uh, but I am going to be really sensible with this one because it's a huge bed um, it's going to be there for quite some time uh, and I don't want to uh, I don't want these poor little herbs to uh, go in and then have to be pulled up again because the the levels settled and I want to top it up now the plan is to build uh, a second bed parallel with that first uh, really big bed uh, same size, same shape, uh, same depth, same everything, same dimensions. I don't think that's going to happen immediately uh, because the growing season has started. Um, because of all the snow that we had, um, I'm actually quite behind uh, in getting things sown uh, and getting those raised beds in the annual vegetable garden sorted out. I had a bit of a look at them this morning uh, while I was getting the ducks up and there's, there's quite a bit of weeding to do and I'm not hugely keen to tidy uh, in the autumn a bit of tidying but not masses because I quite like leaving uh, piles of wood and leaves uh, for wildlife to, uh, to, to shelter in during the winter but I'm pretty sure now anything that was um, hibernating or sheltering uh, has now come out and is doing its spring thing um, and so it's, I think it's okay to tidy it all up now and I'm really not a spotless gardener. I don't feel the need uh, for everything to look pristine uh, and like like the head gardener has just tidied it up. <laughs> because, because she certainly won't have. Um, but I do want to uh, clear out any uh, perennial weeds that are likely to go to seed, uh, the annual weeds that as they come into flower 
uh, or before they come into flower even better uh, but certainly by the time they've come into flower I want to try and get rid of them I'm going to pause and show you that's the first tray done so that's the golden marjoram uh, some lemon thyme and the variegated oregano uh, and next I'm moving on to uh, filling some more pots as the seeds are coming up now uh, it won't be very long before I need to uh, start sowing more seeds uh, and making space for those. I've still got uh, a couple of raised beds to put together. I've still got a weedy area uh, to eliminate the weeds and create a growing space. I'm about halfway already, uh, so that really hasn't taken very long. Look how pretty this variegated oregano is. Isn't that lovely? I ordered the herbs uh, in sets of six uh, rather than individual ones because that's a really big raised bed <laughs> uh, for those herbs. Uh, and I want two of them. And I use a, an awful lot of herbs in cooking. Because I can't eat uh, anything from the capsicum family, uh, so that's no peppers, uh, no bell peppers, no chilies, several of the curry spices I can't eat, I can't eat coriander and I think elsewhere that's called cilantro. Uh, so there's an awful lot of, um, of the, the spicier flavours I can't eat. So to give my food a bit of a punch, uh, a, a bit of extra oomph, uh, I actually use an awful lot of herbs. And so that I don't strip any one plant uh, of, of all its leaves, I thought if I have several of each plant uh, it gives the chance to recover uh, after, after I've taken a few of the leaves. Out in that little front area uh, just outside the kitchen there's the existing raised bed, the one that we've already made. There will be a second one uh, that size which is nine feet long by four feet wide. Uh, but there is also a, an existing uh, small bed there. It's got one sage plant uh, and one rosemary plant in it and they're going to come out and go into the raised beds. It's also got uh, lots of miniature daffodils which are just beautiful. I love them, they are really nice but I thought I might use uh, that bed for putting some mint in uh, because it's self-contained uh, so the mint isn't going to uh, run everywhere and overtake everything else um, and it's it's right next to uh, the bench that we sit at uh, when we eat outside which we don't do very often uh, but if we sit and have a coffee or a drink outside uh, the bench sits right along that raised bed which means that when we sat down uh, we would brush that mint and we would get that lovely mint smell i think that would be very nice out in the food forest uh, one of the tractor tires has got a mint growing in it and that's a spearmint but i thought i might grow an apple mint uh, really close to the house because I, I like the more subtle flavour of an apple mint uh, in salads. And you know who's joined me in here? <laughs> Monty's here again. He really is uh, pretty much my constant companion unless Mr J's home uh, and then his number one preference is to spend time with Mr J. So is mine. And there we go. They're all potted up. Uh, 48 new herbs uh, into individual pots. I'm really pleased about this. Now the only thing left to do uh, is to give them a water and I'm going to use rainwater that we've collected uh, rather than tap water. Well that's it for me today. Uh, it's still raining so I'm heading back inside to have a cup of tea uh, and also to get ready for a visit from my grandchildren. And so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today. I hope it's a good one and I also hope you can join me again tomorrow.